Okay, so I'm done with my color studies, and it's time to create the final color swatches. This will serve as a guide for when I start painting, but that's not going to happen until much, much later, because after this, it's time for me to draw the thumbnails. So I'm still a long way away from actually painting. This bit here is just a brief moment of fun. The hard work is just about to start. The toughest part of the comic book creation process, for me, is when I have to create something out of nothing. When I have to create a drawing on a blank sheet of paper. And I say this even though I do have a guide based on the story narrative that I wrote. It's because when I write a story, it feels like I'm just using one side of my brain. It's not that hard. Anyone can weave a story. When I weave a new story, I usually say it out loud to myself. Usually when I'm alone in a room and I pretend that there's a smart kid listening to me so that I stick with third grade language because there's no need to show off. And so I say it out loud first and wait until I like what I hear. And once I like what I hear, I then translate what I say into writing. And once I see the words on the page, then I can keep going. I can keep writing until I get stuck somewhere. And at that point, I'll stop writing and I'll start telling the story out loud once again. I wrote my previous book, Little Wolf, the same way. I started off saying it out loud as well, and once I got going, I used the computer to finish writing the story. But with this new one, this is actually the first story I wrote entirely on a mobile phone. Because I would get the ideas for the different chapters at different times of the day and night, and usually when I'm away from the computer. It actually got so long in my notes app that I reached the maximum number of characters allowed for each note, so I had to split my writing into two notes. But as soon as I was done with it, I polished it up on the computer. Now, weaving a story like this is very much like daydreaming. It feels like I'm watching a movie unfold in my head, except it's a movie that's not entirely within my control. Because I never plan out my stories, I usually play it by ear, so as I'm writing them, I usually don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea until I reach the end. And you're probably wondering, how do I even reach the end if I'm not planning for it? But I do manage to reach the end, because I think it's because I focus on my characters and I just let them interact with each other and with their environment, and that usually takes me to places I've never been. So the writing part of the comic book creation process actually feels like a fun night out at the cinemas, and the color studies part feels more like a playground where I can get my hands dirty, experiment with new tools, and give myself the freedom to fail. But once I start the thumbnail process, this is the part where it feels like homework. Like the ones you get from school. Because when I create illustrations for my stories, it feels like I'm using both sides of my brain. Because on the one hand, I have to be visually creative, and on the other, I have to be precise and calculating about how I compose my panels. But despite these challenges, completing the thumbnails is very rewarding because that's the moment when things really pick up pace. It's when I'm just a few steps away from the best part of the comic book creation process, which is the part where I get to paint. Alright, I'm going to be away for a while. I'm going to be busy creating thumbnails. But once I get in the flow, I'll probably come back in here and check in with you. So until then, please go enjoy some time away from the screen. 
I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>